Hello and welcome to Tennis Snacks. Today I have a very special video for you guys. It's the three things that you shouldn't be doing while teaching a 10 year old. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey Zach, wanna come here? So I have Zach here with me. Thank you for joining us today. And the uh, first thing is know your audience. Okay, we have a 10 year old here with us and you don't want to use language that it's unrecognizable or un imperceptible for, for him. So let's go over to that. More incremental steps. I'm sure that, okay, I want to see that forearm within <laughs> intrinsic key level of 100% plus 200 times within the internal of the pronation to the, okay, you must have the, you need to have that forearm in a 45 angle degree so that you can maintain a certain consistency that sustains all the power level between the intrinsic keys. Yeah, did he say intrinsic keys? Intrinsic keys? I've never learned that word. It's not in my vocabulary. What is this guy talking about? Of the different game because... Consistency? What, what's this guy talking about? This is crazy. Well, you got the point, right? When you're coaching a 10-year-old, it's important to have the type of language that they understand. So it has to be simple, okay? Short words, and the message has to be clear. And bear in mind that if your player is an understanding, probably it's not his fault. It's your fault because you're not able to transmit and to pass that message clear so that they can understand. You need to know your audience. Okay, so point number two, we need to stop using the word no. No and don't. You need to be more proactive in the sense that you need to create your feedback in a more positive way. Start using something like, if you want to say don't bend that wrist, just say keep the wrist firm. If you want to say don't stop moving, hey don't stop moving. What do you say? Keep moving. Exactly. Okay, go. Don't stop moving. Don't pull your wrist down. Let the racket go down. Don't let the racket go down. No, no, no. Okay? No. What do you want? What do you want? But don't do that. Okay, you see, that's what you shouldn't be doing. Because the message will carry uh, a negative energy, you know? And, and the kid is just, just going to focus on the word no or in the negative thing instead of being more constructive so that the feedback can make, can make more sense to him. That's going to lead us to point number three, which is... Don't be too hard on your students. Yeah, don't be too hard on your student. Remember, your job is to teach the kids how to play, but it also has to be fun, you know? So, this will be our point number three. Move it, come on, move your feet, what the hell you think you're doing, man? Come on, keep it up, keep it up, come on, come on, damn little kid, keep moving. I said, keep moving. Drop it, give me 20. Drop One, two, three, four. Try to make it fun, and if by any chance the kid does something wrong, okay, you can't just give him like a huge punishment because it's not related to the type of mistake. Okay, what do you think about the push-ups? They were hard. So this wraps up the video for today. I'd like to thank Zach here. Zach, hold on. Okay, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you like it, leave a comment down below. And smash the subscribe button. Smash the subscribe button. That's cool. Okay, once again, thanks for watching and keep on snacking.